Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So at the end of May, I posted a video letting you guys know that Microsoft had released a new dev home app for Windows 11 that included new widgets. And that was my whole reason for posting um, that video because um, the dev home app is mainly focused at developers and isn't really of use to your average home user. But it did come with these handy widgets that you could uh, pin and can pin uh, to your widget board to monitor your system resources like your CPU and your GPU and memory, as in my case. And if you click on add widgets, you get, you know, all the different widgets listed that you can pin to your widget board like GPU, SSH, keychain, your memory, network, CPU, as mentioned. So you've got about four or five widgets you can fiddle around and play with. And very handy if you just want another option to monitor your system resources. Now, once again, I'm not going to get into what the DevOM app is all about. Um, as mentioned, that's not the purpose of this video. You can go do a search online if you want any more info. But my main reason for posting today is because the app has recently had an important update which brings fixes and improvements, uh, especially if you are using the widgets and putting those widgets uh, to your widget board. And as I did mention in that previous video, one of the gripes I had and also some users had who view this channel using this um, these widgets is that because it was early days, because the DevOM app um, is still in preview, there was lag. It wasn't really showing um, the it wasn't really showing you uh, the desired results in real time, and especially with the CPU, it was lagging quite a lot and wasn't showing you the actual CPU speed. Now, just to let you know that that bug now has been addressed. And the speed on the CPU widget now should now show the actual CPU speed. And as you can see with both my memory and CPU widgets, I think things are keeping up quite well in real time and showing the actual speed, especially with the CPU widget. So that has been addressed, which I know was an issue for a lot of users, including myself. And then something else I did mention previously was that you are able to add different widgets to the dashboard. You can pin those widgets which is a nice alternative um, for monitoring your system resources because although you can monitor your resources um, obviously through your task manager, this just gives you another option. So, you know, if you are, you know, kind of into monitoring your, your, your resources on your system, this is just another handy dashboard. And another fix that's rolled out, that's also why I'm posting today, is that if you click now on the Add Widget button, it shouldn't crash the DevOM app anymore where previously um, for some users, including myself, that was the case. And another little improvement if you are using the dashboard is you can now um, rearrange and drag these widgets to your own personal choice and preference, which I think is a nice move in the right direction because now it just lets you customize that obviously to your own personal options and your own preference. So that's my main reason for posting. The DevOM app has received that update and the big one here, um, if you are using the widgets like I am, that CPU widget now, um, should now show the actual CPU speed in real time. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.